Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, this is going to be a first video in a five video series talking about the ghosts of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, including Nomad. And we're also going to be touching base about Cole D. Walker and some of his backstory and some other events and stuff that ties him into the other ghosts of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So for those of you guys that played Ghost Recon Wildlands, you know that Holt, Midas, and Weaver were your other ghosts that you actually got to play along with as you played the lead role of Nomad. So we're going to be going in depth with some of these characters as well as we're going to be talking about some brand new information surrounding Nomad and his bridge between Ghost Recon Wildlands and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So like I said guys, this is going to be a five part video series because these videos are going to run way too long to put all of these into one. So we're going to be detailing all of the characters of the Ghost team in these videos moving forward. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the video. So real quick before we jump into the information guys, I'm pulling all of this info from the cosplay guide that Ubisoft and Ghost Recon put up just the other day. There's a lot of really cool information in here surrounding the ghost as well as if you guys are cosplayers out there This is the one-stop shop for everything there is to know about the characters of the ghost recon breakpoint If you guys want to make the outfits in real life, it is super detailed There's a bunch of different images for each of these characters as well as their tattoos What equipment they're using and all sorts of cool stuff So a link for that will be down in the description below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves So in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about nomad So he was the lead character in ghost recon wildlands as well as he's going to be the lead character that you play as in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Obviously with the character customization in Ghost Recon Breakpoint he doesn't necessarily have to look like what he does in all of the advertising and everything like that for the game itself, but he is still the main character that you're going to be playing as in the game itself. So for those of you guys out there that don't know Nomad's real name, his real name is Anthony Perriman. He is an American. He is the team leader of the Ghost, and in the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint he is going to be 45 years old. So a little bit of history about Nomad and his character. So he was born in Boston, Massachusetts and he was an army brat who spent his childhood moving from base to base and joined the United States Army at the age of 18 and underwent selection for the Delta Force by the time he was 24. He also spent three tours with the Counter-Terrorist Task Force 88 before being recruited into a group of specialized tactics, aka the Ghost, and he rose through the ranks to become Ghost Team Leader during a difficult mission in Eastern Europe. So that is actually when he became Ghost Lead in 2017 after a mission went wrong in Ukraine and his team leader was injured. That's the, that's the actual mission that they were talking about. And his first full mission in the leadership role was a hostage rescue operation in the Amazon jungle at the border between Brazil, Venezuela, and Colombia. So he's down there in South America, you know, similar to how we were in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And this was also the first mission for the newly formed Ghost team composed of Nomad, Weaver, Holt, and Midas. So your entire team from Ghost Recon Wildlands was formed in 2017. And two years after that, the team was sent into Bolivia as an undercover force to stop the Santa Blanca cartel from turning Bolivia into a narco state. So that is basically like our entire thing with Ghost Recon Wildlands. The team itself was actually formed two years prior to the events of Ghost Recon Wildlands. And then actually after completion of that bitter sweet successful mission in 2019 and several other operations, Nomad is actually looking to retire and has actually accepted one last recon mission on a remote Pacific island of Aroa. So we all kind of know how that turned out, but that is some brand new information. So after the events of Ghost Recon Wildlands, with a few other missions between Wildlands and Breakpoint, Nomad was actually set to retire before he actually got the call to go in as a recon soldier on the island of Aroa. So only time will tell to see exactly how this plays out. Obviously he's going up against his ex-brother in arms with Cole Walker, but this was going to be his last mission. He was actually set to retire before the events of Breakpoint. They were actually able to pull him in for one last mission, obviously with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So one of the things I wanted to touch on before we got through today's video was this image right here. So this details some of the cool things about Nomad's character and his outfit and stuff like that. But you will notice up in the top right hand corner, it says the Memento Mori. So this is Midas's Bolivian scarf that actually has tied around his backpack strap. So if we go back to the actual reveal live stream of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, where they were actually flying in to the island of Aroa, you will notice a straight on shot of Nomad where he is not actually wearing this. So does this mean that Midas dies in the helicopter crash? He finds his body or something like that and he takes that scarf as a memento. Obviously we saw in that actual reveal trailer of the game, we saw Holt actually getting shot in the back and then also we saw Weaver taking cover behind like a tree, you know, getting shot at really bad and then obviously Midas was in the helicopter with Nomad when it went down. So only time will tell to see exactly how the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint start off with the existing members of the Wildlands Ghost Team, but with this image here, this really points to the fact that Midas is killed in the helicopter crash, and Nomad takes that scarf as a memento, kind of puts it around his backpack strap to carry it with him, so his ghost and brother-in-arms will always be with him. So for the most part, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. Like I said, this is going to be a five-part series. We're going to be detailing the other ghosts of the Ghost Team and Ghost Recon Breakpoint, as well as Cole D. Walker at some point. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like, as well as subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all Ghost
Ghost Recon Breakpoint content moving forward, as well as the other four videos in this five part series. Also, I want to mention that a lot of you guys are not actually subscribed to the channel that have been watching my videos. So if you enjoy the content, you want to stay up to date, you don't want to miss anything, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Ghost Recon Breakpoint moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.